All right, everyone, today we're gonna do another TIG welding metal art piece. Just over two years ago, I did a stainless steel sculpture of an alien. It was actually the first post I ever did on Instagram. It was the first project I did in my studio here. So after a couple years, I think it's about time to remake this little dude, give him a bit of an upgrade, try some new techniques, try and make him more badass than ever. Alien is hands down one of my favorite movies of all time. It's influenced me huge in both film as well as art. Those movies have been massive for me. So today I'm super stoked. Let's get down to another one here. I got some stainless steel 316 TIG rod as well as a 304 stainless steel piece of scrap plate. We're gonna start building basically from the feet up. We'll go through a few tricks and techniques as I build it up from nothing. All right, let's get to it. So my first step is gonna to be to mock up a rough frame for the alien. I just wanna get its stance and proportions right before adding more material. So it's a great way to lay out a little bit of a rough outline before I get too deep on this one. Now that the frame is roughly laid out, I can start to build on it. As you can see here, I'm actually welding dabs onto the wires to build up some more thickness to the limbs. As you can see here, the wires are warping as I put weld onto it. And here you can see me actually do a weld pass on a filler rod. We're getting in tight on this one. So as I need to fill up areas, I use more welding rod. It's a faster way to actually add more material without adding too much heat to the frame. Now that I have added more filler rod into it, and I'm happy with the shape it's holding, I'm gonna start adding filler to bridge everything together and fill up the gaps. Now that everything is tied up and connected, I can fully fill it in to build a good base for the alien's spine. So I'm gonna use a rough shape for its spine, but mainly I'm just trying to get it centered properly. All right, now a quick tweak to get it where I'm happy with it. Now it's time to cut it to length. Now a really awkward tack to get the shoulder points set. And once again, I'm using more rod to build up the ribs and chest to the rough shape, and then I'm gonna fill it in later. I was really excited to do this part. I was hoping to use a couple new tricks, so I was finally stoked to get to work on this part. Now that the rough shape is built, I can start to fill in the chest. This is the start of the ribs. I have a feeling these are gonna turn out pretty awesome. As you can tell, this is a process of just adding filler rod, then repassing over it with my torch to blend it all together. After a little bit, it starts to take on the shape and look of bones. So I did the chest first and I didn't do the lower back. So now at this point, I can readjust the lower spine to make sure I'm happy with this posture. If I had to fill it in a little bit earlier, at this point, I wouldn't be able to adjust it if I didn't like it. Now that I'm happy with it, I can fill up the lower spine area. All right, now it's time to fill up the shoulders. Got to get a good base, so I will be starting the neck next. And then after that, I'm gonna start the head. All right, this part is crucial. I've got some scale pictures of the alien for reference, and I can use them to make sure I have the head the right shape and tilt as well as posture. I knew this one was gonna be trouble even before arcing up, and yep, yeah, whoops. And we'll just put this little guy here. There, just like I meant to do the first try. I 
All right, as I started to build up the neck, it was turning out really awesome. I was happy with it right away. Tendons and gaps in the throat were starting to look pretty awesome. So it was a lot of fun at this part to see it come together. Now, this is just a really rough guess to make the shape and size of the head. Most likely, I have a feeling I'm gonna be readjusting this as I go. As you can see here, I'm basically just tacking points along the length of the head to keep the shape supported as I go along and build it and fill it up. The head will be hollow, so I want it to be strong or else the heat will crack the finish as I grind it to shape later. After looking at the shape a little more, I decided the head was way too long. So here I'm just removing a little bit at the back. I'll keep some material and I'll ditch some as well. I just want the length to be perfect. Now that I got a decent shape to the head, it's time to fill it up. I really just want to make sure I've got enough material to work with for this next part. Now I'm grinding the head down to the shape and profile I want on a belt sander. Now I'm going to hit it with a high speed buffing wheel to remove all the grinding marks. Oh, it's looking pretty real now. He's already so fast. Now our little buddy needs some arms. You know the drill. Rough shape first with the TIG rods, then I'm gonna come back and fill and blend it later. Now to fill in its collarbones and its shoulders. This is gonna to start to give them better shape and the whole body will get better proportions. Now this part took some attention to detail. I didn't actually know if I could weld TIG rods this thin together without wrecking them. So I'm stoked that I got them almost perfect to what I wanted first try. Now to very carefully get them tacked onto them arms. There we go. Okay, now it's tail time. I'm excited for this one. Got to make a rough frame to follow. And then once I got the rough frame laid out, I'm going to tack it in place. Okay, so now you are seeing the start of a very long process. I don't want to heat up the tail too much or else the tail will break and fall off. So basically I've got to spread my dabs out strategically. This is all done with minimal amps and I'm literally welding on the surface of a TIG welding rod. So obviously I gotta be real careful here. Now that I'm done basic weld out on the tail, the shape stayed pretty close to where I started originally. Now that it's cool, I can use a bit of elbow grease and make my lines perfect. Now that the tail is roughly shaped, it's time to make the point on the end and cut the whole tail off the length. Now, earlier on, I left the legs unfinished because I knew the shape of the entire alien was probably gonna change as I worked my way through it. Now that I'm almost done, I can fully blend the legs back up to what I wanted at the beginning. Now I'm gonna cut it off, the original scrap plate I built it on. And while it's off, I'm gonna fill in some tricky spots while I have access to them without the plate in the way. And it's time to get it ready for a new and nicer base plate. So at this point here, as I start to weld it onto the new base plate, I'm having a really tough time getting my angles. The arms are in the way, the hands are in the way, so I switched to a shorter back cap to get a lot closer. 